Hey, hello everybody. How are y'all doing? I hope everybody is doing fine. Uh, today's story will talk about how you can um, add yeah, some gradients to your Photoshop and some patterns, costume shapes, styles, and other stuff. I will also show you how you can um, install uh, filters. So, let's get in. First of all, I'll uh, open up a new file. Go OK. Hide this one. And uh, I'll also show you how you can get some resources. The first way is go to DeviantArt.com. Uh, go under the resource and stock images. Then go to application resources. And uh, we want some Photoshop brushes, custom shapes, and Photoshop patterns. Right, you can download here whatever brushes you want to. Uh, I'll download this one. And for the shapes. I'll download these custom shapes birds and for the patterns I will uh, download these this is just to show you uh, if you don't know how to download stuff from DeviantArt you just click on this um, download file icon or they might provide it in the uh, description you will also need to read uh, their rules so we don't violate anything now uh... same thing save file and download the brushes alright uh... you can write you can type here photoshop styles Uh, last time I had a very unique uh, collection. No, it's not really a collection, but uh, a Photoshop style. Yep, these are the ones that I was looking for. Download RAR or RAR. Uh, Ooh, 61.6 megabytes. Alright, I'll just uh, take the time to extract these two. Alright, uh, uh, extract these. Or this one, I guess. Now go to your wherever you installed your Photoshop. Go to presets. And now let me delete these stuff because I won't need them. I mean, if I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna read read them, but I'm not really gonna use them. I'm just showing you. Alright, uh, I forgot to download the gradients. Sorry. Alright. Download file. Save. Alright. I'll call each one of these my name just for the sake of the tutorial uh, I don't really own the rights of them because you just saw me downloading him alright now let's go under the brushes and uh, this is the brushes 
Well, this is a brush. <laughs> uh, let me explain some. The dot ABR is for the uh, brushes only. See ABR. The GRD is only for the um, gradients. The P PAT is only for the patterns. Patterns. And the ASL is only for the styles. Just letting you know. And I think the ATN is for the actions, but I'm not really going to uh, show you how you can uh, add the actions because I'm not going to show you. <laughs> uh, I don't really feel like it. Oops. It's not that I don't feel like it, but uh, I don't really enjoy the uh, actions. All right, now let's copy the uh, uh, gradients, paste them. If I didn't say what are you gonna do after you get to the presets, you'll find everything you want to. But like, um, go under the brushes and paste your brushes right here. Then go to your gradients and paste your gradients right here. All right, now. Copy this file. Show patterns. Paste it. Copy this file. And paste it right here. Now, your Photoshop won't be affected right here. So you'll have to close it. Now, relaunch it. I'll delete these files. Oops. Start a new file. And the new brushes should be somewhere here. See? Uh, something like that, maybe? I don't know. Uh, sorry. All right, now the gradients. You can click on this uh, gear icon, and then go to your uh, new gradients. You can apply them to a text or to the background. Doesn't matter. Next, we have the uh, patterns. You go to the gear icon, then look up for the for your um, pattern collection, and click OK. There you have it. Uh, your your Photoshop uh, styles, text styles. I'll write my name. Boss three one two three, and go to window, then styles. Click on this little uh, triangle, and look up for your uh, styles, and apply uh, apply them to your text. Now you're saying like. Well, in the picture, we uh, we thought that was really, really nice. Why isn't it not the same? Well, because this dude provided the um, PSD file, and here you can see why. Uh, first of all, he used a... Uh, different fonts like different kinds of fonts so like right now we're applying this one uh, which will be this and you here you can see the styles 
and here you can see the same thing it's same kind of uh, styles but uh, he got different kind of font and a different kind of background so that's why it's not that it's not affected that much uh, maybe you can change the the font but it wouldn't stay the same because you know like it's not happening on this font like you can click on this font I will tell you that this is the name of the font you can look it up buy it or download it and you might get the same effect alright now I'll show you how you can get these stuff out of DeviantArt close everything uh, first of all, if you want some C4D renders or regular renders, you can go to Buck Arts. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry, Buck Renders. <laughs> all right, make sure to check him out on YouTube. Uh, here you have C4D renders. Uh just click on the image this would pop up drag it to your desktop boom you have it perfect these are made with the uh, cinema 4d or other cinema I'm sorry other 4d softwares next you have your renders your regular renders Uh, like maybe game renders and choose your uh, your render and drag it to desktop boom you have it see now this render is really good but some of the renders won't be that good because it's basically on the uh, original image if the original image was really high quality then the render would be high quality so you might not find everything very good <laughs> alright uh, so here are only the renders and C4D renders next you have some brushes sites you have brush easy which I really like I've submitted like maybe two packs um, let me see. Uh, I don't know. Just find your own uh, Photoshop brush sites, maybe. Uh, It would just uh, redirect you to another site. I don't really know um, a certain site. Uh, let me see. I think uh, I remember something like that. Yep, this is a really cool site too. The uh, it has many good stuff, tutorials, brushes, news, everything. Make sure to check them out too. Um, I think that's it. I mean, for these stuff. Now I'll show you how you can install some filters. You go to uh, now. Go to computer local C because that's uh, where I installed the filter go to program files you see it with the name of the original company so mine is uh, labs something like that topaz no yeah topaz labs uh, you would just copy each one. You would like, uh, you would need to find the dot 8BF 
and then uh, um, copy it and then go to your Photoshop uh, file go under uh, required then go to plugins go to filters and here paste your filter close Adobe Photoshop nope now relaunch it I'm sorry for making this story really long but uh... it's many stuff to cover alright now uh... let me see uh... add this image go to filter Dobas Labs and Dobas Denoise 3 there you have it, folks this Dobas Labs filter this moving real slow because the image is real big like let's see 8.33 if I make it 100% look at damage high quality close it and that's it for this tutorial I hope you like my uh, my tutorial for this or for today uh, I hope to see you um, next week Make sure to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The uh, it's B A R H O M B A S R I one two three. All right. Uh, I just gained a new subscriber. Thank you. Uh, now uh, you have to follow me on Twitter. I mean, please, please just follow me. Uh, and like me on Facebook. It's B A R H O M B A S R I one two three. Uh, I upload uh, my latest art or work if you want to. Uh, and uh, I just post my videos. And I just need likes. Yeah, I have only 16. So please help me out. And here you have my uh, Deviant Art uh, profile. Make sure to uh, watch me. I would watch you back. Alright, that's it for you today. Hopefully, you like my tutorial. Uh, I'm Barhum Basri and I approve this message. Uh, see ya.